ask y'all something. What do y'all think about when he was talking about merch? Well, what do you think about these right here? You know? The rubber wristbands? Yeah. Yeah, I think those are cool. Those are very, like, like Sean said, anything that's, like, um, anything that's, like, cheap but still interesting to your base is cool. I mean, I, I think the, the, the biggest reason we kind of push, like, going small is, like, for most of y'all, y'all are really just starting to cultivate this fan base right now. So, one, you don't want to scare them away with, like, a, a high product, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, but I just met you through an Instagram ad three days ago. You know, you're trying to, sh like, sell me a $30 T-shirt. It doesn't fly. Um, but two, man, like, it's something in, like, business and, like, sales funnels that are called, like, a qualifier product, right? So, like, qualifier products in business are, like, usually something cheap that you throw out there to get someone to buy. And then psychology just says if someone buys from you one thing from you, they're more likely to purchase from you again. So you just need something to get them in the door so that they can buy. And then they have a positive experience from buying from you. And then now they're more likely to buy something from you again. Like, if you really pay attention to, like, businesses across the board they all do it right like if mcdonald's got a new sandwich that they want you to come fuck with what is it yo you can't get this sandwich we'll throw in like some free fries and a drink you know what i'm saying because they just want you to come in and get the shit or like well they're actually not a bad example what's a good better example it's like i would say like us like our thing right like when we first started the brandman network thing and sean we were selling like sean's brand guy for like really low just to get people over to like brandman network so we was like man we can get them to buy this five dollar guy you know what i'm saying and then they get on the inside and they see what's in here. We know we can convince them to, to drop the 20 something months. So I think artists kind of have to like view it the same way. Because like I said, like, if it's like, all right, cool, I just need them to buy something. Like whether, like Sean said, whether that's a CD, a wallpaper, a rubber wristband, what's something small that I can get them to spend money on that won't scare them away, that also doesn't cost me a lot of money. But then even better than that, now you are becoming aware of like who on your base is likely to spend money with you. You know what I'm saying? Because like if somebody will buy a $2 wristband from you, They'll buy a thirty dollar t shirt from you. It might take some time, but you've at least opened them up to that process. You know what I'm saying? You've you've kind of like narrowed the the funnel down a little bit. So yeah, I think the rubber wristbands are cool. I mean, CDs are starting to kind of become like collectibles for people and like a lot cheaper to make than they used to be. So like, I think CDs are slowly kind of like moving towards that space. Um, I mean, like Sean, I think digital products are the best way to go. Like if you can sell like a wallpaper or like a, um, I'm trying to think of some shit I've seen. I don't know, like some type of something that you can create one time and just like keep rehashing it. I think that's the best, you know what I'm saying? That's the most, that's the easiest to scale thing. That's the less straining on you, you know, it's outside of some tech support work every, like every now and then, or like responding to like an email from someone that doesn't know what the fuck is going on. But yeah, I think, I think the rubber wristband is cool. Anything that's like low cost, low effort on your part, but still cool to your people. Ow.